I am here with Lady Saints volleyball coach Gino Fergoli and Captain Logan Dodge. How are you guys tonight? Oh, great. Good now, right? Yeah. Good after a W. Good win. You guys came out, you guys came out to the greenhouse center and you took care of Garden City. It wasn't really easy, but you guys won three sets to one. Um, tell us about the win tonight. Go ahead. Oh, we're saying <laughs> we're going to elbow each other. Go ahead. Um, I thought the win was pretty good. I mean, Maybe it wasn't our best game, but the thing is that we still stuck together and we were like, hey, you know what, this is our game and we're just gonna, you know, we make a few mistakes, oh well, we're gonna get back at it, so it was good. I kind of feel like our team has all the skill and athleticism in the world, and so for us, we're working on some mental challenges, and one of the mental challenges is when we're not playing our best, we still try to figure out how to make points and win, and tonight we did that. Well, the thing is that that's correct. You guys came out pretty, pretty hot one, first two sets. You were pretty much, pretty much in control on the third set, and then they sort of rallied out over there, and you guys lost that, that third set. Um, but then in that fourth set, it was actually probably the big set, was that you guys were down pretty big, and then you guys rallied back. Logan, you've been here for a couple of years. How do you see the maturity of this team growing? I feel like it's a more, like, we're not going to let a ball drop mentality. It's um, <clears throat> a few, like, we're going to fight back, you know? Um, Gino called the timeout and he's like, guys, we're so much better than this. And he was just saying, you can fight back. And I think that put more confidence in people, like, you know what, calm down, we're good. And then we just came out and played our best. Do you think that you're, take, you're, you're taking, a, again, a bigger role in this team? You're now captain over there, you're just sophomore, but do you think that you're, you're taking a bigger role in this, in this squad? I'd like to think so, yeah. Um, I think Gavlin and I are kind of part of, like, energy. And mm -hmm. so I think that's pretty fun. And then um, just... To, you know, trying to keep everybody calm and be like, hey, we're good, you know, mm -hmm. and just reminding everybody, you know, we've done this before, we've had a thousand reps, mm -hmm. we're good. So you're basically the voice of reason over the time. <laughs> I try right? to be, yeah. <laughs> Coach, what do you think? I, I would say that, you know, I don't know if it's a bigger role, but it's a different role. We have some emotional players on our team. Their role is to get emotional, bring the energy, get big kills or whatever. Logan, one of the reasons why I recruited her is because of her leadership. She's ice cold in critical moments. I tell her that all the time. And I just feel like um, her role is just as essential as anybody else's, maybe more important, because she's going to bring that leadership, that calmness, you know, and all that positiveness to the, to the court and to the others. So we have a couple other girls beside Logan that do that as well. And then we have the emotional players that we have to kind of keep under check. Mm -hmm. But it all works together, and that's what we were talking off camera, is that we feel like that culture of having all the different personalities but knowing it's our role you know, is what's making us successful. Let me just sort of clarify, you were captain last year too. So this is, you're a two-time captain at over there. And so as She's you like, grow, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I actually just following up on that. So do you think you've learned a lot more this year or do you think that last year sort of helped you out be better this year? Um, actually, I was kind of co-captains with Anna last year. Oh, yeah, okay. and, right, yeah, 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 yeah. right. So, and just like with her, um, I learned a lot about, like, you know, what captain mm -hmm. means and how to just, you know, sometimes things aren't going to go the way you think it's going to go. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to be honest with people. And I think I really learned that from her and just the fact that, like you said, you got to stay level-headed and voice of reasoning. And she was like that, so it's kind so of been really helpful. Yeah, yeah. Just a year of experience, basically, mm -hmm. right? Um, Coach, talk about her serving. She was pretty deadly today in serving. How do you think that she has proved this year, and how did that affect them during the game? You know, we had a talk on the bus, a couple inside, inside track. We had a big talk on the bus uh, coming back from Dodge, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And it was just, you know, Logan, I trust you. I put you in at the start of the game, and if you screw up and it's 0-1, it's okay. But you're one of the best servers in the country, and so we need that. That's part of your role. So let it loose. You got a green light from me. I trust you, you know? And so we do that. And, and when we do that, sometimes it's awesome, like the ace she got at that critical time tonight in the last set. And then sometimes it doesn't work out, and that's okay. She knows that her coach has her back and that we're going to keep moving forward. And her leadership qualities and skills, and like I said about you know, her being calm under pressure, it's a perfect role for her. You know, it's also a perfect role for her to be mayor one day. <laughs> so I keep telling her she's going to be the mayor of liberal. So all this stuff, when you guys are voting for her 10 years from now or whatever, remember she learned all the things she needs to learn to be mayor, right? Uh, thanks, Coach. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think that they've seen her confidence grow? I think so. Yeah, I think so. But what's more important to me is Logan says she may want to play at the next level. Mm -hmm. And she was unsure when she first came here doing that. And so the fact that she's having fun, She's got a big role in the team. She's accepted the role she has. She wanted to be a setter, you know, but she knows that she's helping the team in so many ways, and she's having fun doing it, and she wants to move on. To me, that's just, 
you know, that spells success in so many different ways. Is, do you consider this a signature win tonight when you guys, you had sort of said that, you know, when you're not playing your best and while the team may have played, but when you face adversity, team comes up on top and finds a way to win. Do you think that this is sort of showing you a little bit for that, for this team? You know, I thought last game we played more than one good set. So against Dodge, we played two great sets, and we usually play one and fall a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was a mental hurdle we needed to get over. This, tonight, you know, the mental hurdle was we're not playing good all night. There's a lot, missing a lot of serves every set, you know, things like that that we normally don't do. But it was a mental hurdle we had to get over so that if whatever happens in that conference tournament, we're going to be ready. Mm -hmm. And so it is a signature win from that standpoint. I think it's another mental hurdle the team got over. Mm -hmm. And then um, I kind of feel like winning 20 matches this year is always a goal for a coach. Mm -hmm. It has a nice number to it, 20. Mm -hmm. And so 20, uh, 20 and 5. 25. And so, and, and, not, and, and having a great record in the conference is great too. So for so many reasons, this is a special win. Also, I'm good friends with uh, Coach Hiltz on the, on the other side and um, known him for a lot of years, respect him a lot. So I know we beat a good team. Okay, uh, just a couple more things. Um, team is in, has won nine of its last 10 games. You guys play, go to Barton, and then you guys have two more games. Um, come up to totally that big stretch of six games in 14 games. In 14 games. But I was telling you that like, you guys have actually a little bit of time off because we actually have spring break and you guys actually have spring break off um, until sort of maybe. Until, fall break, yeah. Fall, fall, break. Break, fall break, thank you, yes. So, <laughs> don't um, say spring break or they'll all head to the beach. We don't want that. <laughs> yeah. There you go. But so, I mean, so how do you think going forward, how do you think this team is going to look? How do you think, um, how, especially at Barton, how do you guys think they're going to do at Barton? They are playing well, but I think they're always dangerous. Always dangerous. Great coach there, too. Alan does a great job there. You know, we're, we have a lot of respect for each other. We've battled so many times. Their team's going through some stuff right now. We hope we get them while they're at a low point, but we'll, we'll see what that looks like. Um, as far as the six games, you know, in short amount of days and stuff, um, they're going to get a day off tomorrow, and I, I feel, I don't know how she feels, but I feel like on game days, uh, it's easier than when we practice. So to them, they should feel like game days, oh, it's like a day off, you know. So we'll give them a day off tomorrow, and we'll get re-rested, and, um, you know, we should be good to go on Saturday. Okay, and um, again, what a crowd at the greenhouse tonight. We had, again, just seems that that energy, and it sort of seems to me, you know, some of this a little bit, it seems that crowd's coming more and more, I would think. What do you yeah. think, uh, Logan? I love it. I think it's great just that, you know, the community comes out and supports. That's one of the things I love about Liberal, for sure. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't they come out? You have the mayor, <laughs> a girl from Liberal, coming, making a difference. you got to come watch her. The energy has to be good because mm -hmm. that's why it's a home court advantage. We talked about it as a team. We want to win the whole conference in the regular season, so the whole tournament's here. And it's a big goal for us because we know it's a big advantage. And so we love all the support. You know, we love the support from the administration. Um, I know all the girls feed off of it. They just get big smiles when they see certain people show up time and time again. And we just want to invite everybody out. Now we're starting to get teams to come watch us. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's we, fun. Yeah, the last couple of we had Satanta and then we had... Uh, Seymour Rogers came Seymour out Rogers, and then right? today was Eisenhower. Was so. it Eisenhower too? Yeah. Okay. I also love that we're seeing boosters that I've normally in the last two years just saw basketball games. Mm -hmm. Now they're at volleyball games. You <laughs> yeah. know, I just I know I think that we're slowly just saying, you know, you guys can like basketball and volleyball too. Mm -hmm. And and we want everybody to be successful. The basketball teams look great right now. Mm -hmm. I just think we can all go out and win and this could be a place where everybody could be proud of every sport. For sure. All right. Well guys, I know that you guys probably want to eat and um, <laughs> great good luck to you guys on Saturday against um, against Martin. Thank you. You can find us on SewardSaints.com on Saturday.